got it, Ishkel, guys. Nexus here, and welcome back to Destiny 2. And in today's video, guys, we are back again with more shenanigans to go up to. But before we get into it, boys, if you do like the video, please subscribe to the channel or even just comment below that you liked it, whatever. It really helps the channel out a ton, of course. We are close to 8k, so guys, we can definitely get there before Christmas, guys. But I do appreciate all the support we have. And of course, I've been here for a while, but guys, it's a marathon, not a sprint, as I said. Any support, I, I do really do appreciate it. But we are going to be going in today, guys. We are going to be showing showcasing what i think is the best and hottest and spiciest build to go in with with the grafalcon and it's going to be pairing this new grafalcon hubrick which oh well, not new but it got enabled and this thing's insane we're going to be pairing this of course with the good old rat king so if you don't know rat king this weapon, of course, has been here since the start of D2, one of the originals. The Rat King itself, though, when it got a catalyst, it became super, super cool. Because, obviously, the catalyst gives you, I think it's vermin or something like that. Vermin tide or something like that. But it gives you vermin or infestation. That's what we're going for. So, improved aim assist and recoil direction. Refreshes health on vermin invisibility trigger. And what vermin does is that reloading immediately after a kill grants brief period of invisibility. So, you're probably wondering, what am I talking about here? But... What that means is that, first of all, we're getting really good recoil and better aim assist, which obviously is great. Secondly, when we go invis, we will be, of course, blaring into this Grafalcon Hubrick. We will be able to get, of course, the buff from this when we come out of invis. So you can get some really, really synergistic stuff going. And the reason this is so freaking spicy right now is because, obviously, Sidearm's got a huge buff in terms of aim assist and obviously stability and everything and that is why this build it's disgustingly good the other thing about racking is if you actually squad up it gets even better so this is 100 for me the best weapon to pair with this thing i don't care what other people are saying oh you should rancher oh you should fusion rifle guys the Rat King is jamming, boys. The Rat Jam is freaking here. Guys, we all know it's just a sidearm meta, sidearm meta, sidearm meta. But we are going to go into the PvP, of course, with this build. So without further ado, let's go in with the Rat Hubrick build. Alrighty, so we are going to be on the burnout, of course, with our Rat Jam. The Rat King itself. Now, this is a skin on it, by the way, so it just looks a little bit different. Don't worry, it's just a little skin. But I will say this should be really, really sweet, of course, with the build and everything as well. We go invis. And what we do is we run at people, shoot, and I get given free damage. Um, what the? Why is there? Why is there so many people there? What the? <gasps> He's a one shot now. Stupid. Why is there a randy ass titan wall there? What are you doing, bro? What are you doing to me? But yeah, basically all we got to do is go invis and then we shoot and we get that extra damage. It is obviously, I know it's cheesy kind of as hell, but for a lot of people, people are going in with it. You can see the damage boost for about four or five seconds, which I know some people might not think is much, but obviously... Which side I was doing super well right now, and oh my good god, boys, I gotta kill. Thank you. <laughs> Man, freaking Forerunners Lorenz everywhere. Why can't I escape this map? Legit two days in a row I've gotten this stupid game. But yeah, going invis and just killing people, and then reloading, going invis again, getting health regen. It is really, really sweet. Now, obviously, reloading in front of a dude, probably not your best bet. I mean, I probably shouldn't have done that. When you do reload, I will get insta health regen. Obviously, I'll go invisible again, which, of course, is really sweet. And... Oh, okay, I thought I killed him. I was like, oh my god, the freaking range. We're gonna go invis again and get this guy as a one shot. We read out insta heal, invis again. And this is the damage I'm sort of talking about. Like, look at this crap. <laughs> and then we're invis again. We'll get this guy. We'll go invis again. This is what I mean. The freaking combinations. It's basically giving my gun rampage or kill clip rampage or something. For oh my god. Oh, I'm a one shot. But it's basically giving my gun a little bit like extra rampage or something like that, which honestly. For legit just using the gun and getting health regen and everything, it's pretty stacked to be honest. Now, there's two dudes here, bro. You got a sidearm, so do I. Give me the heals, give me the heals. There we go. <laughs> oh, it's so freaking sweet. We're gonna actually just do this because why not? Oh, there we go. The chain reaction as well. Thank good God, God. Oh my God. Let me heal. Now, I know people will also hit me with the fact that there's probably like better, I wouldn't say God tier sidearms, but there is a couple of better sidearms to kind of go in with right now. I understand that. So, oh my God. Why? Is your whole team outside, boys? Why? Why is all here? Why is all here? Give me the damage. Give me the damage. Give me the damage. Oh! Oh! Heal. Heal. Thank you, teammates. Oh, my God. I got a double kill. I will take the hit, Reg, boys. Sometimes you get freaking gifted kills. But, yeah, I know people will be like, oh, there's like a brick and slaw. There's other shirems you can go in with. There is. Yes, you can go in with them, but... This, this with the invis is just, it's that good. Obviously, just constantly going invis of people with the extra damage buff. If I can aim. It's insane. As I said, the insta heal as well. And the 59 per dead shot. Like, you can see, 59 a headshot. That's a lot of freaking damage you can kind of go in with now, bro. There's a guy here, bro. You're really gonna, you're really gonna challenge the sidearm at that range, bro. <laughs> what a sniper. Oh, we'll go for this guy as well. And this is what I mean by the damage. Like, this gun right now, it's just a freaking sidearm freaking metal open here, boys. Like, look at well this goes in. It's legit. It has to be a spiciest combo. I don't care if people hit me with the shirts. I got a fusion rifle. I'm telling you right now, 
This is by far the spiciest freaking weapon. Ah! Hit him! What the? Yo, game? Can I get a kill, please? I was going to say, why does everyone else's freaking sh shadow shot one shot? Mine is... I know it's the tether you one. I, I thought that was a teammate, to be honest. We got the kill, though. Give me that heal on the invis. <laughs> oh, this is what I mean by how stupid it is, though. We got this guy. There we go. Is there a dude out here? Oh, my God, bro. Give me the range. Give me the range. Give me the range. Oh, my God. Yep. That's a kill. <laughs> This is disgusting. If you're not using this in PvP, I don't know what you're doing right now because it is nasty how well this goes in. It's like, it's legit. One of the best freaking builds to cut in with. And as I said, this is on uh, control or on PC as well. So this is going to be better than a lot of other builds and everything, as I said. All right, on for controller, of course. And controller, sidearms are just so much more stickier. So when you got this going in and stuff, it is pretty freaking nasty, bro. Give me the invis. I need the damage. I need the damage. <laughs> Oh, guys, I cannot put this up enough. You need to get your hands on this freaking thing. As I said, it's super easy as well. It's literally just a freaking rock king. And we got a wee run. <laughs> oh, it's the spiciest build you can go in with. Oh, good God. Give me the freaking prey, Shax. Say it to me. Sing it to me, baby. I mean, it's disgusting. As I said, just instant, instant. I mean, like, I just cannot get over this weapon right now. Obviously, map is playing into it a good bit. I'm not going to lie. And I don't have my freaking thing with Jake, bro. <gasps> They're both the one shot. But yeah, of course, the map is playing into this a good bit. But I'm telling you right now, it's just the weapon as well. Give me that. Look at the heals instantly as well. So people just keep on just trying to hit me. And I'm just kind of dodging them and everything. It's just, oh, got them. I think the biggest deal about the Hubrick, though, is that basically you get your invis legit, like, near not the whole freaking game. Like, you're consistently invisible. Oh, bro! Did I go invis? I did go invis. I have six bullets, though, so I don't really want to swing off this. But you're basically invis for, I'd say, like, 70% of the game. You get your dodge back so consistently, especially with mobility. I've got, of course, the, uh, the racking giving me invisibility as well. And, of course, there's, like, three of them there. But you're just in this for so much of the game that it's pretty ridiculous that I get free damage buffs straight off the rip with it as well. I will definitely say that. Oh, there's so many people. We get two. Two? No, oh, port for four. I'd give me two. But yeah, you is obviously counters in terms of other weapons you can kind of go in with and stuff like that. But I will say that definitely right now it's just insane with the Hubrick. It's definitely, I would say, the best kind of build to go in with, as I said. Just going constantly in this like that. Just getting an instant heal and everything. It's mainly the heals, as I said. I don't really care much about the uh, the extra damage as much, but the instant heal with the invis and everything like that is just so good in the Rat King. But pairing it with that extra damage too just makes it just god tier. Now, there's a dude down here. And boys, you're robbing all my kills. Come on. It's the spiciest build. I'm telling you right now, if you haven't tried this out in PvP, bro, you died. <laughs> but if you've not tried this out in PvP, I would get your booty on this right now. It is definitely, I'd say, one of the most fun builds to kind of go in with as well now. You, did it. you know what? I'm actually going to do this. Oh, my God, bro. Bro! Stupid ass tether. I need to start using the triple shot. I don't care what happens. Every Kill them all, boys. Kill them all, please. I need to start using the triple shot freaking tether shot, though, because all this one does is hit them in the face, and they just tank the stupid thing. What sort of super is that? It doesn't even insta freaking, like, suppress their ass. But, yeah, that is the Rock Hubrick build. As I said, the Rat Jam is in full force, boys. It's mainly just the sidearm meta up in here and everything as well, but the Rat Jam... It's just freaking nasty what you can do with it, as I said. Obviously, at that range, I'm probably going to lose. But overall, this build, it's this, it's spicy. I'm telling you right now. I played into it a bit, but the rat jam is here, boys. It's a freaking sidearm meta up in here. The sidearm meta, sidearm meta, sidearm meta. What do we get all together, though? We got uh, 47 opponents defeated, 3.92. I capped one flag. I am such a streamer YouTuber, right? That's legit all I do. Applies, I promise you. I cap flags, okay? I always cap flags. I don't, I don't know how I only have one. Well, that is it for me. And of course, the Rat Hubrick build. As I said, the Rat King right now, this thing is so spicy, Wood. Especially just with the boost that sidearms have gotten. They feel so much better. I wasn't even hitting that much headshots, but it was still able to drop out. I'm telling you right now, you need to be trying this out on controller. If you're a console player, controller player, sidearms are feeling so good right now. And the Rat King is definitely up there. Obviously, there is probably better sidearms. I am not saying there isn't better sidearms to go in with in terms of just overall like efficiency. But the pairing of this with the Hubrick is just god tier. Drying, of course, is god tier as well. Any rangefinder one like Brigand's Law and everything, they're really good too. But the fact that this pairs so well with Hubrick in terms of every kill you get, you go invis on reload and get a health regen. It's, it's nasty. You've got to try this out. I'm telling you, especially if you get a squad going. Imagine having three guys running around with this. It's honestly insane. So I definitely will say this is the spiciest weapon. The best weapon, I would say, to use with the Krafak and Hubrick because it goes in super well PvP. 
before people start hating me with it. Use your heart shatter sword. It's so good or just. I'm talking PvP, boys. Nobody's using that sword in PvP, but PvP, you better use the Rat King. But regardless, if you like the video, show us like. And if you want to see more content, subscribe. Fantastic day. And hopefully, I'll see you in the next collective. In the next one.